Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a big gun bag in today. Um, and yeah, I needed some more bits and pieces from Admore Zest, Rebecca. Uh, some labels and things for my storage organisation that I'm still finishing off. Uh, and when I went on, there were some mystery boxes that she had from time to time. Um, when Rebecca gets a big stash of her diamond paintings, she does a mystery box. And they're only £5. Um, obviously, you've postage fell on top of that as well but you don't know what you're going to get so i've got a mystery box um i did get the three large paintings i would have preferred the smaller ones or a mystery box with anything in uh, but unfortunately there were only ones the um a set of three large mystery paintings which are larger than 30 by 30 uh, that were left so we'll see what we've got oh can't wait to see can't wait to see but yeah, for £5. So she's just like these stashing. Um, she gets a lot of PR packages and things. And she's, you know, does this from time to time. Because like a lot of us, she's very limited on space. And uh, yeah, I am starting to de-stash. But I'm then going out and buying mystery boxes. Yeah, go figure. <laughs> okay, so I'll have a quick look at my stationery first. Before I look at the paintings, I've not peeked. I've not looked. I did open the bag, albeit it did have a sticker on it saying thank you for your order from Admore Zest, so I knew where it was from. Um, but yeah, I still opened it ready, but I've not peeked at the paintings. I don't know what I've got. Ooh. Right, so these are, I did look at these because I wanted to sit my invoice out. Uh, these are my bits and pieces that I've got from Admore Zest. Uh, as you know, I do use Rebecca's storage system. I've got quite a few uh, videos of me putting my drills and things away um the special drills the drills away so yeah and i do always link rebecca as well because i do think to my mind she was the first person that came out with the sort of like photo box storage system with the little bags and everything in and she's refined it over the years and now in her shop she does sell all the bits and pieces to go with it so i've got myself some nice labels because as uh, as you know if you've watched uh, my last kitten down in my rounds they are very very tatty the labels that i've printed out myself um and they're all starting to come off because they weren't the best labels in the world and i do need to uh, get organized a bit more with it and i do need to sort them out because there's too many drills in those boxes so i've got a set of the stickers okay quickly show you them they are all pre-cut as well, which is excellent. It's just them in several different colours now. So, you know, all you need to do is peel it off and put it on your little cards or however you do your storage. But there's one for every DMC number that's used for diamond painting in there. And then at the back, you do get a couple of spares and we get our numbers that are like 100, 200s, 300s. Let me just get my squares out there. These are the easiest ones to get. So my squares are actually all done with Rebecca's uh, items. So yeah, so I've got like, as you can see there, I've got uh, 3,600 just on a little like divider in between. So it just makes them easier to find. And I just think this sort of looks so neat and tidy. And it definitely goes along with my OCD having it like this. It's just so nice. So yeah, I decided to do that. Uh, you then have black, silver, blue, white. So these are the stickers that I use on my special drills when I'm organising my special shapes, my special drills. So that if I've the ones that I've got in colour order, I use those stickers. And then we've got a few extra spare ones as well if you want to make up your own. So they are really good. I am very, very impressed with Rebecca's stuff, uh, which is why I keep going back and uh, ordering it. So yeah quite a few pages there nice quality and really good stick as well i've not had any of uh, these labels coming off these little cards you know they are well and truly stuck whereas the homemade ones that i did um for whatever reason the paper i used uh, it started peeling up mind you to be fair i've had it a long time so it's probably very old uh, and i think rebecca uses a laser jet printer as well rather than an inkjet printer so that you know is a lot better quality to start off with anyway so pop those away say any questions on that let me know so that's the first part of my little order that i was putting in 
I just tend to save up and get a few bits and pieces at a time uh, rather than ordering it all at once because you know it it is um more of a luxury i think when you're organizing and spending money on organizing your drills and things it's not something you have to do but it's something i like to do and then she started doing these do you remember the paint gem mini paintings that i got um, a couple of months back now and rebecca does have a discount code for that as well okay so she started doing cover sheets for your if you're wanting to put them in a little book um if you've got any of the little books these uh, little presentation books that i was showing you the other day they just fit into the front of there so if you're wanting to just keep your pictures in a presentation book i mean to be fair if you've got them on a coffee table you know and you just leave them out and you've got like paintings people think you're real sophisticated won't they <laughs> they'll pick it up and think oh look at you doing all these paintings and if you're wanting to know what they're all called then rebecca also does the labels as well so not only will you have the lovely cover sheet on your book, you can also have a label telling you what they all are. So if somebody says, oh, oh, I, you know, I didn't realise what that one was called. You can say, I do. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so that's the museum one there. And then I've got the love set as well. Uh, so that's all the love ones. And then the doggies, which to be fair, I do know the doggies all off by heart anyway. Uh, years of going to Crufts. And uh, yeah, so that's all the doggy names as well. And I believe these are, yeah, they are. They're die cut, pre cut stickers for you, look. And you even get a little sticker there. Oh, it's not die cut that one. Or is it? Let me have a look. Is that one die cut? No, it's not. But you could actually cut that one out and put it onto the spine of your book you could pop it on here so say so that one's not die cut but you can soon use your tweezers if you're not good at uh, peeling stickers and get that one put onto the side there so i am getting organized with those right so i've just been and found my little paint gem uh, pictures i did an unboxing on these so there is a full video on it um my box has unfortunately got quite a bit squished coming through in the post they've got some really big dents in them but somebody has actually said <laughs> it's a really good idea you just take these out of this one i think well this is the love set you can undo these boxes and turn them back to front so let me just see if i can do this one i think they're a bit easier to do if they're not quite so squished <laughs> But yeah, if you fold it all the other way, then okay, you've got your writing on the inside. But then you've actually got a nice Harlequin gift box to give to somebody. So how neat is that? It's just a case of folding it all back the other way. It's a fab idea. I love when people come up with different ideas and different things. So rather than throwing them away once you've done them, you can. She says, I say, this one's a little bit awkward because it, it is a squished one. I should have done the one that's not squished, particularly when I'm doing it on camera. Yeah, so it will just fold the other way and fold the other way and fold the other way. And you've got a nice little gift box. It just needs a bit of straightening out this one. But yeah, how neat is that? And you could even use these for storage, couldn't you? Because... You know, you can use your labels and they'll stack nicely. You'll have three of them. Well, well I've got three anyway, so you have three of them all together stacked on your shelf. So I'm not going to turn this one back the other way now. Um, so, yeah, that's your a paint gem. I say that one's the Love Edition. So let me see. Find the Love Edition. That's doggies. Don't want that one. It's like a Love Edition stickers there. Uh, will these fit in this box was the cry they will but i'm just gonna have to fold very very carefully just fold slightly there 
nope still not going in so let me fold slightly at this side as well i don't want to fold right where the sticky is because i don't want the sticky to come off so that keeps that in there and then i'll put the tool kit away and put the things away okay so that's that one so the love one is in a harlequin box now i do believe they've changed the packaging again but uh, the boxes are still the same so you can still put them inside out okay and then i'll just put unfortunately this cover sheet is just that little bit too big to go in the box so i'm just going to put those flat inside my little book uh, this is the museum edition so i'll put the stickers in there do you know i don't know why i'm doing this on top of this um bag i'm sure with the paintings in because it's just making my life so much harder but as you know if there's a hard way and an easy way to do it liz will always do it the hard way. <laughs> okay so that's that one and then finally the doggies edition yay oh let me just have a quick look at my scotty dog look it doesn't want to come out now oh dear me Mind you, typical dog, particularly terriers, does sit like, there's a little glimpse of my Scotty dog to do. Oh. Okay. So that was those. And I'll just put this one. I just think it looks nice and neat. And to be honest, having these things, rather than having to do it yourself and print it out yourself, it gives you that extra time to do your diamond painting. Somebody else has sort of like taken all the hard work out of it for you, which I like even better. But obviously, you know, to me, it is more of a, a luxury purchase um, for your diamond painting. It's sort of a want rather than a need, as it were. <laughs> OK, and I am just going to stick those in the front of that little book, which is how Rebecca's designed them. So that when I need them, I must remember that all three are in one. But don't they look fab? I'll take that out actually because then there's not quite so much bulk in there but yeah and you know having the little black um frames around the dogs and the black frame around the little storage book just makes it look really really neat and then once I've got all my little pictures in there they'll look even neater yay okay just get rid of those and oh one of rebecca's friends is the candy box sweets chocolates and happy oh and hampers i thought you said happiness then i was going to say yeah sweets and chocolates always make me happy as well but no it's hampers <laughs> and there's a code to get 20 percent off so that's all the yeah social media there okay so we'll keep that have a look at those or oh, never have too many sweets and then that's uh, rebecca's um youtube etsy facebook and instagram oh i didn't know she had a, an etsy i'll have to have a look at that that's uh, new to me i didn't realize that but it's just a thank you which is very very nice thank you rebecca okay so i'm just going to pop those back in that envelope and put them with my storage and now we're going to have a look at the diamond paintings so as I say, it was £5, so Rebecca's not making any money on these whatsoever. Um, of course, you've got to pay postage, which is fair enough, to be honest. Three paintings for £5, wow. Okay, you know me, I like a bargain. So this one isn't in a bag, so we'll have a look at this one first and see what we've got. Okay, so, oh, we've got a Christmas one. Oh, lovely Christmas, yay. Okay, it's poured glue it's a little bit flat okay but that's okay it's poured glue it will flatten out oh she sent us a tool kit as well so that's nice we've got uh, a pair of the oh actually they're not too bad those tweezers some of them are really really bendy but they're not too bad uh, probably will go in my donation pile i do keep odd ones of them because i do use them look i've got it stuck now oh dear me what am i like oh no they are quite bendy ones but yeah, they're okay if you've not got any tweezers. Uh, we've got a pen with a squishy, and that's a four-placer, I do believe. 
some wax, a little flat bottom boat, and I've got a pen placer. That looks like a ten. Let me have a look. Didn't say on it. Where's my little card gone? Okay, let me have a look. Is it a ten? It is a ten. Look, I'm getting good at guessing them now. Yep, so we've got a four and a ten placer as well in the new ones. Uh, people keep asking me where I got this from. And as you can see, it's getting a bit worn and tatty now. It's nearly two years old. I actually made it myself because I was getting um, kits with multi-placers and things in and I didn't know which size they were. So I just stuck myself some little drills in one to ten. And then as I got the placers, I just stuck them on the card. As you can see, I've never had a five and an eight. So, you know, I've not got the ones for that size, but I have got the drills so that when I get a, a multi-placer, I can just pop it over the top of the drills. And as I say, I can see that one's a 10. So, yeah, um, it's just a piece of white card. I've just put the numbers from some of my number stickers and I've just stuck it on a little bit of silver mirror card just to give it a bit of an edge. But it is very, very tatty. But it has been handy. Uh, but yeah, that's where this is from. And as I say, people do keep asking me, oh, where did you get that from? And uh, yeah, that's where I got it from. I know now I think you can go up to about 15, can't you? But I've not had any of those multi-placers. I don't really do multi-placing. Um, I prefer just my single placing. But each to their own, you know, we all have our own ways of doing things. Right, anyway, that's enough of that. Let me get into this painting and have a look and see what we've got. Okay, I'm not going to go through all the drills and everything because obviously these have been unboxed before. Oh, a bit of muck left there from my card making. Uh, these have been unboxed before by Rebecca. So this one is a 50 by 50 square. Wow, I've not got a 50 by 50, I don't think. Wow, oh, look at that. That is gorgeous. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. So it has 48 different colours. We do have DMC codes and I believe it could be a square. Yes, it's a square. Oh, we've got some that have escaped. Just a few that are running loose in the bag. Yeah, just escaped there. That's okay. We can have a look at that later. I can sort that out. So let me just flatten it down because this now will go in my folder and be kept flat. Oh, it's got two pieces of uh, the cover sheet on. That wasn't very good, Liz. That was terrible, in fact. If you're going to do this, try and at least do it properly. <laughs> oh, dear me. Just um, chat amongst yourselves while I fight with this piece of cover paper. It's an exceptionally soft canvas, this one as well. So. Okay. Spread this outside. Once it's in my folder with everything on top of it, um, I'll get it squashed down a bit more as well. But yeah, so this is going to be, this is going to take a lot of doing. This is a very big painting for me. Um, 50 by 50 is a big painting for me. I know uh, a lot of people do the bigger paintings, but I do like my smaller paintings. But I thought, well, seeing as there's only the bigger paintings left, that's what I'm going to go with. But I love this. I love the picture. So we've got a lovely Santa sat there. And with it being square, this dr the drills are a little bit smaller than the rounds and they all join together. So we may get a decent face on there. We'll have to see. Be interested to see that. We've got a little tawny owl up here. It was very pretty. Look, he's sat with the moon up there. He's a little bit more reticent. He's sort of like wary of what's going on down here. Um, just seeing what everybody else is doing first. We've got a lovely barn owl here. Oh, no wonder he's sat up there. There's a cat sat here, look. Goodness me, there's a tabby cat sat watching. Although it is behaving itself because we've got a robin sat here as well and a robin here. Oh, these gorgeous. We've got a little red squirrel here. 
four. And then we've got our little deer that looks like he's been fed by Santa. Oh, it looks a little bit like a wreath that he's got there. Let's see, let me have a look on the actual picture. Oh, that doesn't really do much for me, to be fair. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, loving this. Looks like we've got a little mouse or something down here. Although that's quite a big mouse, so it might be a rat. Mm. Um, and then we've got two bunny rabbits down in this corner here. So yeah, bunnies, look at the bunnies. And I don't know whether we've got anything here, but you tend to find, particularly um, with the bigger pictures, as you're doing them, something will suddenly appear and you'll think, oh look, that's there. And oh look, that's a picture. So you don't particularly see it while you're doing your picture, but then it sort of appears as you're doing, uh, as you step away from it after you've been painting for a while. So we've got a, a lovely lamp up here as well and a lovely snow scene. That is gorgeous really like that so wow i think i would have paid five pound at least for this one anyway let alone getting three paintings that's wonderful thank you rebecca uh so yeah we've got the legend at both sides as well and a little picture at both sides uh i'm not sure where it's from it hasn't got uh, anything on it and then we have got a massive bag of drills um oh unfortunately it has got a sticker on there that tells me these drills go with this canvas so that's good because sometimes I've noticed now that some of the companies are sending the little grip seal bags through and you don't actually unfortunately get a label on them to tell you which canvas it goes to but uh, yeah lots of colours in there look a nice jolly Santa colour palette so, oh that's going to be fab to do wow that is a big picture it only just fits on my desk I'm going to have fun doing that one with it being so, fle uh, so flexible, so soft. Because it'll just flop over the edge of my board while I'm diamond painting downstairs. Mm. I have thought about getting like a jigsaw board. Because you can get quite big, big jigsaw boards and that would maybe sit on my knee. So anyway, that's another story. Right, let's have a look at the next one. Dig back into this bag. So, oh, this one hasn't got... Uh, a cover on it either so you can sort of see what this one is that looks like a toadstool to me okay and this one is 35 by 45 oh i think this may be a cool deals one because it's got to uh, add more zest on it and they tend to be the company that actually put your name on the canvases which is a lovely touch and i do like that Okay, so, oh, this is a stiffer canvas, a lot stiffer canvas. Okay, and oh yeah, we've got the toolkit in this one as well. So we've got two pens in this one, pink pen and a sparkly clear pen. Uh, just the three multiplayers are there, a few little grip seal bags and a little flat bottom boat. So let's have a look. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I've actually got this painting. Um, I think it's the same one, but I've got the 30 by 40 one. So this one is a 35 by 45. Oh, right, okay. And it's actually one of the ones I think I've got to do as well for my uh, challenge. So what I'll probably do then is put the one that I've got in the giveaway um, and I'll hang on to this one, the little bit bigger one. So are we rounds or squares? We are rounds. Okay, unfortunately it is one of, one of the older style cool deals uh, canvases, so it has come in the little 200 bags, but as I've said before, there, there's nothing wrong with the drills, they're exactly the same drills that come in these, it's just that they are a little bit more time consuming to kit up because you've got to open all the little bags, but they have now started coming through in the uh, grip seal bags. So they have moved on. Let me just get the key code out and have a look. See if it tells us anything any different. Okay, nice colour palette in this one. Lots of different colours. Uh, it's actually 25 colours on this one. Oh, and does this have two pieces of cover sheet as well? It does. Oh, right, okay. I've never seen that before. Anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. 
we've just got a little picture we've got your key code which is 25 colors all numbers and capital letters one to nine which is excellent and yep yeah, just a little thing telling you how to diamond paint let's just give this one a quick measure then and see if it is a 35 by 45 and put this back in here so I'm not going through the drills and doing it as like a full unboxing. Yeah, it's, uh, somebody else is painting. <laughs> but again, yeah, wow. Very, very generous to uh, do your de stash and uh, just charge like nominal amounts for your paintings. <laughs> oh, now then, I must make sure that goes back down the right way. Oh goodness, I never thought about that, right. Uh, yeah, but when you uh, turned this on, you didn't expect to, this be Lizzie's diamond painting unboxing, struggling with pieces of plastic. So let me just pop this one down, make sure it's the right way. Yes, it is. If I'd have put it down the other way, it would have been really difficult to take off. So it's just the uh, key code down one side on this one as well. I'm interested to see if this, with it being a bigger one, is the proper size or whether this is actually a 30 by 40. And, oh, it's 29 centimetres, which is 11 and a half inches. So they've called it the bigger size because the canvas is actually nearly true to size. And that is uh, 39 centimetres, which is 15 and a quarter inches. So actually when it says on there 35 by 45, that's the canvas and the actual drill area is, well, more or less 30 by 40. So that's true. I could actually do this as my 30 by 40 challenge. Uh, but yeah. Okay, so that's canvas number two. One more to go. Goodness me, this is exciting. I do anything with bargain or mystery. I just love it. <laughs> So, last one, and this one says F. Gobi on it, so that is quite possibly the company it came from, unless Rebecca has just reused the bag. Okay, oh, and this is very different for me, this isn't something I would have chosen. Okay, so this one again is a 40 by 50 or a 50 by 40. Um, and again, very soft canvas. It is a landscape. Okay. Right. Oh, we've got the toolkit again with the tweezers. Uh, it's like a four placer and a ten placer. So, oh, quite nice toolkits that have come in these as well. A step up from the usual. Okay. Uh, yep, we've got the drills and the code are both up there, the same, so we can match them in. And all in grip seal bags, I'm not going to take those out, but... Uh, and this one is a square. Yes, it is, it's a square, but we're poured glue, so... Yay! Now then, will this flatten or will this not flatten? No, it's going to play me up, so I will just do this corner and then I'm not going to play anymore. <laughs> so, oh, this one is all in one piece as well. This is, uh, but then the other one had the extra 10 centimetres to 50 on it, didn't it? So again, we've got key code at both sides. And I think you can see it's like a mansion house. Um, and it's like a... I don't know, like a twilighty. Oh, and we've got a bridge here as well with the river. I'm just looking at the little thumbnail picture. 44 colours. So it's a good job I've got my uh, new 60 storage because it looks like I'm going to be needing them. But yeah, that's uh, quite nice. Actually, um, Diamond Grandma is doing an event. Uh, she's doing a fall y'all event. And then I think for her birthday month, she is going to be doing... Um, a landscape because she likes landscapes best and I haven't really got a lot of landscapes so I could possibly do this one for that event um, I don't try and take part in other people's events as well it's just fun I just love seeing everybody else's I do think though when you see everybody else's paintings you think oh I'd love that one and I'd love that one and it, it can be quite fatal sometimes because you just think I'll just pop and have a look and maybe get that one and oh look at that on the website and I'm just <laughs> 
idea if you can go onto a website and just buy one diamond painting i really do admire you because i oh, just found it so difficult anyway <laughs> so yeah that is absolutely fab i can't believe it i mean for five pounds it's very very generous of you rebecca thank you so much okay uh what i've done i've just popped and got mine which is the 30 by 40 one. Um, it is exactly the same picture, which is what I thought. And it is 25 colours, exactly the same. Um, but it does look like we have got very, very different colours. I you can see the key codes there. Well, quite a different, in fact, they're practically all different colours. So, yeah, uh, to be fair then, I might keep them both and do them. Uh, and see how they turn out we'll see we'll see uh, i've already said i would do this one as a giveaway so we'll see see how we go because i've got quite a few others as well uh yeah so that's interesting the way that they've done the charting so much different this is more like spring fresh bright colors and this is more autumnal although the leaves are green but more muted i suppose colors interesting but as you can see look that's the drill area 30 by 40 and this one is uh, just that bigger because of the edging and the drill area is bigger so yeah interesting i just thought i'd pop out with that one um i just thought i'd show that one just to have a quick check and make sure it was the same one and yes it is okay so yeah what were we saying <laughs> So yeah, we got that one. And then I have to say, my favourite is this one. I absolutely love this one. Uh, a 50 by 50 in square. So it would probably be one of my biggest tasks to take on. I have still got my 90 by 65 craft buddy picture to do, which actually is pretty similar to this one because it's a Santa sat with all the animal around him as well. So yeah, and I must get that one kitted up at some point. <laughs> well i hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me uh, this mystery box has certainly been uh, wonderful and uh, yeah all my stationary bits and pieces from admore zest if you have enjoyed looking at them as always a thumbs up is much appreciated and if you've got any comments or questions leave them in the comments down below and if you do want to come back and see what i get up to next then if you press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell that pops up you'll be notified whenever my videos come out so you won't miss anything yay okay well thank you ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now